Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Bricks Are Your Home for Vintage Lego and Lego Trains. So I'm going to be organizing a little bit <laughs> uh, my Lego train collection. A lot of the train sets I keep in these shoebox, well, I guess it's technically not a shoebox container, these Sterilite containers. These are kind of designed to like go under somebody's bed or something. Uh, but they're, they're pretty good for storing uh, the built Lego trains as far as like the locomotives and engines. Except over time, things break. So uh, we're going to be looking at different ones, and I'm going to kind of group things together. Some are already grouped together, but I want to get things uh, just like or a little bit more organized because uh, this one has some broken freight trains mixed in with my Santa Fe uh, train. And so I'm going to take the broken stuff and kind of set it to the side, get the stuff that's completed. Uh, one of the things I've been doing uh, started really well a long time ago but last year i kind of started making longer versions of the passenger trains and i'm going to try to have those grouped together so we're going to go through and look at a few of my containers not going to be all of them and mainly we're going to focus on the lego passenger trains uh, and so let's see what we got in these containers i'm wearing this shirt is uh, from the savannah in atlanta i think that's what it was uh, yeah the, the museum down there in savannah georgia the train museum uh, featuring the Savannah in, in Atlanta. And I actually have a version of this locomotive, I think, or a locomotive like that um, in uh, HO scale. Uh, but yeah, let's look through, through this stuff. And surprisingly, I don't have more uh, train-related t-shirts. You would think I would have more. So we're going to take the Santa Fe locomotives and... One thing with, uh, no matter how you store uh, your trains, pieces fall off over time. <laughs> so there's no telling what pieces are missing from these. Uh, so that's the uh, one of the A units. You got another A unit. This one's not motorized. So they, they did come with instructions on how to convert them to nine volt. So this one has a nine volt motor. I really need to have another nine volt motor on one of these and i'm uh oh see see what i'm talking about let's let's see if i'm doing this way which i may end up doing it with the b unit so this is the james mathis designed b unit which da james mathis was behind these i think there was another designer i was watching the other day uh, there was one lego designer that worked on the nine volt trains but i think james mathis was a non lego employee that worked on them as well. I could be wrong, but this is definitely uh, one of his designs there from Brick Shelf. Uh, then we got the five different versions of the cars that you can build from two different sets. So there were two packs that uh, came with uh, instructions to build either two or three. One had two different ones, and I don't remember which one's which. I feel like this this piece almost feel like it's in the wrong place. Doesn't that feel like it's in the wrong place? Boy, it's hard to tell. It is so hard to tell with these things. So that's another thing. When I go through, I just feel like that piece is, the lower piece is too close to that wheel. And sometimes when you're running these, like these pieces will fall off. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's very possible the things I'm showing you here that there are, oh, is that rusted? It's a stain. It's like the, these shiny grill bricks are very expensive and it almost looks like they've rusted. That's weird. Let's see, I don't know if I can get a good image of that, but there's these little spots. They shouldn't have dirt on them, but that is weird. All right, this observation car. And then one more car here. I think this is a regular, is this a dining car? Um, again, I'm surprised the stickers are holding up all right on most of these. So that's the complete Santa Fe collection. So there were would have been the locomotive, the five cars, but also we got this uh, B unit there. So I'm just, yeah, even though this container can hold more, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. This is the Santa Fe box. 
So in my quest to have longer passenger trains, um, this is actually, this is the 7715. I was like, maybe I should make some more of those. And then there, I think this was the, I think the add-on car, I believe for the 7715. But uh, these, you, you would think these would be simple to make. Um, <laughs> basically getting the wheels and the doors and the windows. I mean, that's sometimes these, I don't know if these old gray slopes are hard to come by or not. Uh, but this is the one I need to make extra. This is the 7710, I think. So you get these two yellow and blue passenger cars. I want to make extras of these. Unfortunately, they only came with a number one or a number two um, sticker, I think. Uh, but I would like to make extras of those. So this container, I'm going to put the horizon. Oh, man. I think my cat did that. Ugh. <laughs> The Horizon Express. So I got this one, and now we got to get the other one, which is in those containers. One of the sponsored videos I did back in the day was for these display cases, and I have been trying to get these display cases off of this table for so long. <laughs> so I'm going to get this. Uh, you know what? I don't. Do I got to use the? Oh no! Yeah, there they are. There's the Allen wrench. I wonder if this is the Allen wrench for it. Yeah, so I think I got to use the Allen wrench to get those out of there. Oh, oh anyway, so let me get that uh, Horizon Express out of there. Oh, I have to go back and watch my own videos. It just lifts up like that, so I don't have to take it apart, which is nice. All right, so those two cars, if y'all remember, are attached together with that that um. Oh, I forgot what the term is. Is it a Jacob's bogey or something? <laughs> All right, so that is the Horizon Express. And I, I got room to put more in here, I think. I don't know if others, what else I could put in that one. Let's see here. I'm going to get this other container out of the way. Let's see. See what else I got that I can put in there. Uh, not from this set, that box. All right, so that I don't waste space, I'm gonna take these. Uh, oh man, stuff just fell off of this. This is, whoops, the crocodile locomotive. Wonderful. These are pieces that fell off of that. Now I gotta try to put it back together. I'm finding that the more I touch this, the more stuff falls off of it. <laughs> this is from the uh, Lego factory. So this is a fan design set. And now it's so, uh, oh man, there's so much just falling off of it. <laughs> I'm gonna, that is sad. All right, so I'll take the other crock. Probably, probably not supposed to be picking them up like this. <laughs> Maybe that was the problem, the way I handle them. All right, so, man, I could fit this in there. It's all in pieces. I don't think I got this thing back together. Where did this piece come from? Was this on my table to begin with? <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna try to put it in the box. Ah, got it in there. Yay. <laughs> so the crocodiles go with the uh, Horizon Express. Oh my goodness. This is so sad. <laughs> oh man. So what I'm going to do is, this has got a bunch of freight. I'm going to take these uh, Metroliner club cars out of here. That piece there doesn't go to the club car, so yeah, these, oh man, this is sad. 
Uh, so I'm not going to worry about the freight trains right now. Yeah, most of my collection, this is, so what happens is over time, like you, you, I do videos with the trains and then I put them back in the box. But as you saw with the crocodile, I mean, most aren't as bad as the crocodile about breaking easily, but things have broken and maybe I didn't store these correctly. But so we're going to take this one out. This is the 7745, which for years is one of my favorite train sets. Um, not from the 12 volt era. Uh, oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh no. Yeah, this one's falling apart. And I think we do have a coupler missing on this. Oh, the motor keeps falling out. Should have a coupler like that. So I gotta look through this box. See, is that the coupler? Yeah, I think that's that's probably the coupler for it. I'm gonna take this passenger train out. A, a, a wonderful, missing wheels as well. I think it would have been one of these like that, if I remember right. But I feel like there should be more on this. I think this goes to it. This is becoming a lot harder um, than I expected. I think these these are oh these probably go to either this one or the seventy seven forty five the pantographs I think oh it's so hard uh, to work out this I thought this was going to be a simple video to make seventy seven twenty five all right this one's all together so this is the way the uh, the powered one should kind of look. So I've, I'm missing probably some angled pieces there. Probably a four by four is missing. I'm not really sure. Uh, I may have to go back to the draw, drawing board, meaning go back to the instructions. Oh wait, I think that, I wonder if that goes to it. <laughs> I mean like uh, tank cars are broken. <sighs> More broken tank cars. This is, this is sad how bad this has gotten. Um, what was this? This looks custom. <laughs> is this one of my son's builds? What is this? It's got to be a custom job there. <laughs> So there's pieces that go to some of these that are laying here. I don't, I don't know what's what. I don't know which, which, some of the wheels. Um, man, it's going to be much more work than I thought. And so, you see, I took those, those out. If they're missing pieces, more than likely the pieces are in here. So it's like I have to... What I really need to do is stop and put these together... <laughs> But I wanted to keep going through. All, what's this intron piece doing in here? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna keep going. All right, this one looks a little better. So, two worst train sets ever made 153, 152. <laughs> um, so, here, this one, all right, the 4511, there's a dark gray. And a new dark gray version of these. I think that one looks like it's the new. That one's the old. Um, and then I think it'll be the same with these two cars. Uh-oh. Well, I thought it was easy. One's... This is dark gray. This is new bluish gray. And I have more of these that I need to build. So what I'm going to do is take this Burlington Northern Santa Fe out of here in this tank car out. And I need to figure out where these other cars are that I need to build for this. I have uh, enough to build, I think four more, like two more locomotives and two more cars. All right, finally, so this one's already pretty much organized. This is the 7897 
it with the extra cars. Uh, so I think all of them are in here. Uh, nose fell off of that locomotive there. Again, it's just, no matter what I do, pieces fall off <laughs> of these trains. So this container, oh, goodness. it had the cars to the 60051, I think is what this one goes to. I have made extras of this train. I just don't know where they are right now. So I'm going to take those out. And again, stuff is just falling apart. It's almost like I need to put, put them in bags before I put them in here. I have almost none that are not broken. That's how bad this has gotten. Oh, wait, I need to take this out. This one, actually, I think will go with the, even though these are bigger, I think they fit better with the 7725. And then there's another, yeah. I think that's, everything else in here is freight. That's broken. Yeah, what's that? Seventy-seven thirty. Oh, so sad. Expensive stuff in here, and it's just broken. All right. So this is the the new green train. Two copies of it. So it hasn't had enough time to like get all broken. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. And the other thing is, a lot of the passenger trains, even some of the ones we've already shown, would have come with a little loading platform or some other type of accessory with it. Uh, this one actually still has the accessories with it. The other ones, I don't know where all of them are. They're probably in some of these boxes. You probably saw some of them in, in pieces. Uh, the idea was just to store the train parts and then somehow organize the rest of these. But this is, this is hard, <laughs> much harder than I expected. All right. Some of the Metro Liner. Missing a car <laughs> for it. And I should have two more Metro, or another Metro Liner today. So this Metro Liner is missing a car. Uh, and we got, this is what I should have done, put everything in bags. Uh, oh, this is a recent build here. Is it already losing a piece? Where does this go to? It's one of these just randomly sitting there. Uh, these are primo. Oh, dang damn it! These are primo adapter bricks. Uh, convert primo to duplo. I don't know why they're in there. So I found the other car. It was actually on the table all along. I just broke it. I just grabbed it and broke it. Somehow I pushed the door through. I went like that. Uh, Take the roof off. See, we can put this one back together, kind of. I don't know what's going on with the interior there. <laughs> Worry about that later. See if we can just get it. Yes. I find one train, break two. All right. Again, it's so frustrating. So I take everything out of here. I, this is one I it isn't that long ago I did a video on. Um, but yeah, where does this go? And then, of course, we got the monorail. Oh my goodness, is everything just going to fall apart on me? Monorail train. Take it out of here. And I think what I'll do is I'll put the Metro Liner, we'll put it back in. Metro Liner. There's two different versions of the Metro Liner. One has less stickers. One has more stickers. Um, and I got to get the other one built, apparently. I thought I had them all built. One of them may be built as the alternate build. Because the, the, that train set did come with an alternate build. And I did do a video of the alternate build. Probably... Before I even started this channel, I can't, it's been so long ago. Um, yeah, I can't find the other ones. 
So I'm actually going to stop there. I had intended to show more on this video, and I, this this has proven, like I've said, I think several times already, it's much harder than I expected, and so much of my stuff is broken or melted away, <laughs> as Joey uh, has coined that expression, because you built it, you think, okay, I built it, I'm done. Well, even in this video, stuff broke. And then you say, okay, I'll put it back in this container. But then later you're like, I don't know what goes with what. So you got to go look up the instructions again. Um, and then I still didn't even find everything. Like, the one that's a mystery right now is this one, the 60051. I'm pretty sure I made a whole bunch of extra cars for this. I don't know where they are right now. They should be in a container like this. And I haven't, I don't know. I don't have any idea where I put that container or if I put it in another box. I, I know I'm I know I made a bunch of extra cars for this. Or at least well, I say a bunch, some. I don't know what a bunch is. A bunch is twelve. <laughs> I don't think I made twelve. Uh but irregardless, uh, this is not the um breaking news podcast, but I don't know where they are. I did make a wanted list on Bricklink so I could start making extras of this. Uh but I don't I don't know where the locomotives for these are. I mean, they would have looked like something like like kind of this style. Uh, the yellow and blue one was a push locomotive. It wouldn't have had a wouldn't have come with a motor, although you could have motorized it. Um, but there's so much that is yeah broken. It's really kind of depressing. Um, <laughs> I. I, you know those display cases that we took the um, Horizon Express out of and the Maersk train was in it? I wish they made them long enough to put uh, all like the full like the full Horizon Express with two sets. Because that's the other thing. Oh, man, where are those at? There's the modern. I don't even have the modern, that yellow and blue one. I don't know where it is. I know I built both, uh, two copies of it. Uh, so there's a lot of things that are... Yeah, and I got all these freight trains that are broke. Uh, yeah, it's just like <laughs> this is the the challenge in organizing a Lego collection is I'm trying to make it more organized. I think I just maybe succeeded in making it more disorganized. <laughs> and now I see what oh this is yeah we'll f I'll figure something out. Uh, I'm gonna stop right now because this is just it's giving me a headache.